Yeah, um, my name is Wynn. Yeah. I'm um, French. Right. And we do French crepe sucette. Alright. And uh, what is a crepe? Crepe is a French speciality, like a pancake, just dinner, made uh, out of natural ingredients. It's uh, natural sugar, natural flour, and the stuff we buy is all organic. Okay, my name's Rod Duncan. I'm uh, the retail end of the Venetian Coffee Company. Well, yeah. And uh, what is it you do out here at the farmer's market? Well, we sell coffee and coffee-related products. We'll be having gift baskets and gift cups and coffee things like that for the holidays. A lot of great gifts. This is this is a people place. Uh, people come. It's a dog show. It's a pet parade. You know, it's uh, people just come and walk. I mean, people just come and walk and say hi to their friends and have a crepe or get some fresh coffee every morning. And it's a lot of fun. It really is. It's a great place for people to meet people. What would you say is your best seller of coffee? Oh, definitely the Krabby Breakfast Blend. It's for uh, coffee for the antisocial. Helps those help for those who don't like to get out of bed. It's a great breakfast blend. It's very mild and it's good. Uh, it's a great morning kick, kick out of bed coffee. Nature printing and um, guillotaco fish rubbing. It's all a rubbing from the real object. I put it on fabrics. I have shower curtains, table runners, aprons, scarves, bags, placemats. Most of the sewing I do myself. What would you say is your uh, best seller out here? Um, table runners. I sell a lot of leaves. A lot of the Florida native leaves. My name's Lisa. And I make hand felted purses. This is Paula. I'm Paula Powers. I knit children's um, sweaters and I also make little girl sundresses. I have a four year and a half year old granddaughter, and finally my daughter said, Ma, you know, you made enough sweaters for her, but I couldn't stop knitting. <laughs> So I knit, 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 and now I'm selling them. And I enjoy being out here. It's, it's a good way to spend Saturday morning. You meet people, you're out in nature, and it's great. Mm. Yeah. What is it that got you guys to uh, do kind of a joint booth? Oh, we met each other at a craft fair. Okay. And then uh, uh, we decided to join Sharon. forces. Yeah. Sure. And we're the two become, handmaids. We've become good oh, friends. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We, we like solve it. all the problems of life every Saturday morning between 7 and 11.30. I'm uh, Stephen Durstein, and I've been doing farmer's market here for about 16 years. Uh, we used to have stores locally in the area in Osprey and Venice, and, and now we just uh, boil down to this now. So. Uh, we do this every weekend, uh, every Saturday from uh, 8 to 12. Uh, you can come out and see us. Um, we're here all year. All right. And what is it that you guys uh, sell? We sell uh, the lo local produce, whatever is in season uh, during this, uh, this time of year. Uh, most of the stuff comes from uh, Tennessee, Alabama, Ohio. Um, in about another month or so, we'll start seeing the local produce from Florida coming back in. Uh, we'll start getting uh, tomatoes and uh, peppers and cucumbers and all the melons will come back in season here shortly. And uh, what's it take to get out fresh produce to a farmer's market? Oh, getting up early. <laughs> getting up very early. Uh, every Saturday I get up at 2 a.m. and I go up to the, the market in Tampa and I purchase from uh, local farmers and the pin hookers that, that uh, bring the produce to market and then there's stuff from uh, out of the state I can get also. So it just requires a few hours getting up a little, you know, getting up early, being an early bird. And, and then you get some hard fresh produce. That's right. <laughs> All right, and uh, what's your favorite part about uh, doing the Venice Farmers Market? Oh, just the customers. We've had a lot of the same customers for the whole time we've been here. Um, uh, we have custom. We have we have actually have dogs that uh, I've seen for 15 years. Uh, but uh, yeah, really the customers is the, the main reason. Hi, I'm Lynn Cirillo. I'm a local artist, and what I'm working on now um, is I'm selling the fused glass pieces. These are all individually handmade, one of a kind. And what I did was put them on leather, I beat them, I wire wrap different ones. 
or we put a bale on the back and hang them on a choker. And then, as long as you have one of these, you can get as many of these as you want. Everything can work with it, everything else. I also make matching earrings, bracelets, anklets. I work with leather, glass, um, recycled pocketbooks in my, uh, my little jean bags too. So a lot of my projects are coming from like recycled glass, like my beach glass, recycled glass. A lot of my um, fused glass that I get is also recycled. I actually buy the scraps that are um, left over from product, you know, other projects. Um, and I'll use them and incorporate them into my work. So I make it more affordable to my customers. Okay. And uh, you could probably sell this stuff lots of places. Where does it bring you out to the Venice Farmers Market? It's like the one-on-one -on -one customer. So like, yeah, I've got the known a lot, you know, a lot of people come and they'll come back. And they're like, oh, I got this from you last year. And da -da. It, it's so nice, you know, it's like, I have jewelry now like in London. Canada is my pocketbooks. I mean, it's just like all over. So that's my goal, accessorize them. You know what I mean? I will accessorize everybody yet. Uh, I'm Dee Phillips, and I love living oils. And I do uh, use almost all of them. <laughs> Valor seems to be my favorite because it helps my balance. It helps my husband with his sleep apnea. He no longer snores. Wow. I mean, it is incredible. <laughs> I'll pass. Uh, okay. I'm Christy, and uh, we enjoy Young Living Essential Oils. That's really what we're showing people. And the, uh, the whole idea is beginning to use natural ways of feeling better. And essential oils have been around for thousands of years. There's thousands of pieces of research on the efficacy and how they work to help your body naturally heal itself. Cool. And uh, you guys could probably sell these things anywhere. What is it that makes you want to come out to the Venice Farmers Market? Oh, we love Venice. Venice is cool. You meet all kinds of cool people like you coming along. And we don't sell them. Uh, we really don't sell anything. We just give people an alternative to all of the pharmaceutical drugs that are out there and all of the ailments they have without any relief. And and so we're just out spreading the word. Our goal is to get these oils into every home in the world. We're in 99 countries and we'll get them all eventually. Okay, my name is Michael Tig. I am the new owner since February of Midwestern House of Meats and at the farmer's market we're selling and sampling our own sausages. We have mild Italian, hot Italian, bratwurst, Polish sausage, we have ham loaves, um, shepherd's pie and meat loaves and we make everything at our butcher shop which is right around the corner and we're just out to support our local farmers market and in, for the Oktoberfest we're going to be doing the um, the farmers market is held in an Oktoberfest and we're going to bring out our own sausages again and cook them hot so and with uh, some apple cider Oh, I might have to come out. Yeah, there you go. All right. And uh, what is it that you kind of like about the farmer's market? Oh, the farmer's market is nice because you get people walking with their dogs and they're just strolling and talking and it's not like you're in the store and, you know, everything's hustle bustle. People got to come and go. Everybody's just real easily and friendly and that's about it.